guys. Today is patch day. So it is April the 8th and we have the patch for Fern Bus Simulator along with the Handwool DLC. And guess what guys? I have patch notes. Like seriously? Aerosoft? Patch notes? <laughs> I never thought that you would hear those two statements in the same sentence. But we have patch notes from Aerosoft, so I'm going to read them off to you now. Um, so, add a new city, Odense, to the map Denmark DLC. On the PS5, they fixed an issue where some trophies failed to un unlock correctly. I can verify that. Uh, I've already played the game a little bit, and I've unlocked several trophies already. Uh, PS5, they fixed an issue where the reset profile button in the main menu was not visible. I don't know... Where that is, I haven't seen that. I don't really want to. I don't have no uh, reason to reset my profile. On PS5, fixed an issue where environment was lit incorrectly during the day-night transition. We're going to take a look at that in the video, guys. Uh, I have footage of that. On the Xbox, fixed an issue where save states created in career mode would disappear after exiting the game. Career mode, I'm assuming that's the Flixbus mode. Fixed an issue where the seat settings and buses of the CMC top class could not be accessed. Uh, we will take a look at that. Fixed an issue where the mirrors for buses that only had one option and the mirror settings would disappear after clicking on them. It could not be re-enabled. Oh, uh, I forgot that. We are not going to be taking a look at that. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at that in the live stream I plan on doing uh, later today or earlier today, depending on when when this, when this uh, video gets released. Fixed an issue where the temperature in buses of the CMC comfort class could not be adjusted. Fixed an issue where the interior lights of the CMC comfort class could not be turned on. Fixed an issue where the Rennsteig area was not visible on the map and the stations could not be selected. So, I mean, technically, that's adding uh, a new station or two to this already, um, along with Odense. So that, that's pretty cool. Fixed an issue with motion blur on AI vehicles. Fixed an issue where the shuttle UI was displayed when in Flixbus mode, passengers checked in using their phones. I will show you guys that in this video as well. Uh, but first, first things first, let's, uh, let's take a look at the brand new buses, shall we? Okay, so we have the hand wool pack. This is the, the third pack. Um, this is like a $25 DLC. Um, just a disclaimer, I didn't pay for the DLC. Aerosoft did supply me with a code uh, so I could take a look at it and show you guys. Uh, technically, I mean, it depends how you look at it, but there's technically seven buses in the DLC. Okay, so we have the Hanwool Altano, the TDX20, the TDX21. Now we have the TX model. So we have the TDX models. Okay, so that's one model. Okay, but there's two. What did I do? <sighs> the TDX. So there's two variations of this bus. There's the 20 and there's the 21. But I mean, in real life, these would be two different models. So those are two different buses. So you see what I mean? So I guess it depends on how you look at it. Um, so then we have the TX models. We have the 17, we have the 18, and we have the 19. And as you, again, you know, they're different sizes. They are different buses. They're in that TX model range, but they're different buses. And then we have the TDX. We have the TDX 25 and the TDX 27. Very cool buses. Um, I'm going to be taking, I think, the TDX 27 out uh, in the next portion of the video. So those are the DLC buses, guys. Those are the hand wool buses. Let's hop in the game and let's take a look at some things that were actually fixed, shall we? All right, guys. So we're going to look at the, uh, the comfort class. This was the, uh, the pack two. DLC. Uh, as you can see, I can turn on the air conditioner. I can change the temperature. Uh, this wasn't working prior to the patch. It's all working now. Just to show you guys, I had all the lights on. All the lights are working. We'll shut these off now. And the sunshade. Sunshade works. Beautiful. None of these were working before. And they are now working on the comfort class. That's beautiful. The horn works too. <laughs> I 
All right, so let's go over to this side. Uh, the hydraulics still don't work. I don't know, maybe they're not supposed to. Um, again, we have all the lights working. There we go, the passion light goes on and off. Everything's working there. Um, I'm checking this out because someone said that they can't adjust the seats in this bus. Um, but as you can see, I, I'm having no problems with it. So I don't really know if maybe it's user error or or what. Uh, I don't know. But as you can see, I had no problems adjusting any of the seats. Uh, you know, the mirrors, they all work. Everything is working as intended. So now let's go check out uh, some of the bigger things. All right, guys, so here we are, and here's our hand rule bus here. So let's just open up the luggage, and we can get these lovely people checked in. So this is one of the fixes here. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, he's fine. That's all normal. That was working normal. Uh, what about you? Ah, she's, okay, she has a ticket. It's when they show you the cell phone. So let's see here. Next is up, you. Okay, so see, she has a cell phone. Look at that, guys. It's working just like it's supposed to. Uh, it, it doesn't go to the shuttle phone. Um, it backs out automatically. Again, we see it there. We don't have to press the circle to back out of it. It does it all automatically. Beautiful. I'm so happy that's fixed. It was little. It was minor. It wasn't a game-breaking bug. Uh, just kind of annoyance because it was working, and then after the last update, it wasn't working. Uh, so yeah, it's it's nice to see that that's working again. So we are starting this trip out towards evening because we need to check out the whole day to night transition, right? We need to make sure that they fix that. You know, if you've watched my channel, that it was a big, big issue with me, um, a, a huge annoyance. So let's uh, let's go ahead and let's see what that looks like. All right, so we can see the sun's starting to get lower. Uh, and now what the issue was, uh, prior to the update, the trees in all the background would stay bright. Whoa, we went through the red light. We almost got into an accident, but we're fine. And I can already kind of see that it's fixed. Those trees are dark. Um, it looks like it's getting darker out. So that is very promising. Um, before the patch, this would all be very lit up like the sky would look like it's getting darker but the trees and surroundings would have this this weird daytime glow about them um of course we had the famous fern bus stop lights where you have to wait forever right but i mean so far so good guys look at this this is looking very good i'm i'm liking what i'm seeing and we're going to test this out in a live stream uh you know the only thing i like i've always wanted to just be able to do a route and maybe drive into the darkness or you know start a route after dark and drive into the daylight and it just wasn't possible before because it just looked horrible look at you can clearly see that this is fixed that the uh the darkness is happening like it's supposed to like it was intended uh it looks absolutely beautiful uh, i couldn't be happier about this being fixed uh now while we're doing this, uh, let me just point out that there's no more graphic settings in the game. Um, it turns out that was, in fact, a mistake. They were never supposed to be in the game. Um, now, unfortunately, what that means is the middle mirror is, again, useless. It's blurred out. It's not in there. Um, from what I can tell, you know, it's supposed to be optimized. You know, uh, technically, a console game, you're not supposed to have to worry about graphic settings and stuff like that. That's really a PC thing. And look, guys, the, uh, oh, look how good that looks. But yeah, graphic settings, it's a PC thing. You know, it's not really intended to be on console. Consoles should be optimized so every game, you know, is getting the best performance. Um, I am going to maybe talk to Nico and see if he can do something about at least the mirror, at least get the mirror back for us. Uh, I do miss that. Uh, I have seen some people complaining that they think that 
uh, with the graphic settings they have. They don't think it looks good. I don't think it looks bad. Um, you know, but maybe they can maybe they can employ some kind of like performance mode and you know or quality mode or something like that. But uh, this makes me very happy, very happy indeed. Okay, so now we're in Tourist Bus Simulator, and if you're in America, we finally have the bus packs unlocked for Tourist Bus Simulator. There are two DLCs. Um, they're both like $25 a piece, but now we have the CMC, we have MAN, uh, we have the MB, we have the Neoplan, we have Scania, we have the BB, and we have the VDL. So let's take a look here. So look at, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different VDLs. Is this, is this the little one? Oh, uh, let me just see. Oh, it is. It is the little one. Sweet. So we have all the VDLs. Uh, take a look up here. The comfort class, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six comfort class. I do not want to drive this bus around this island. Oh my God, these buses are, in my opinion, way too big. Um, I think that little VDL is going to be my go-to bus in this game. Uh, for the MAN, do we have any more MAN? Oh, we do. Okay. So we have the third gen, the second gen. Uh, C2 third gen, the C3 third gen, uh, we have the man team bus, we have the coach L third gen, we have the inner city R60, the R61, and the R62. Uh, let's see here, what else is there, CMC, MAN, MB, this is all the same, right? Okay, we have that. Uh, the Neo plan, we just have the Skyliner. All right. Uh, Scania, we have the 121, the 129, and the 137. Ah, uh, oh, what happened? That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Scania, BB, and we already checked out the VDL. So, yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's all the news I have today for Fernbus and Tourist Bus. Um, this game, they are going to be working on this game as well. They're going to, um, get Fern Bus taken care of first, and then they're going to be moving on to Tourist Bus, and I'm going to try to do my best to work with Aerosoft to, uh, to get this game running, uh, both games. I'm going to, I'm going to work with them, uh, you know, and try to just give them information from my experiences and you guys as well to get these games all fixed up. So, yeah, there's there's a lot to digest today, guys. Um, oh, also, I should say on Fernbus, um, now that the graphic settings are gone, uh, we're back to the non-middle mirror, which I'm not too happy about that, I got to say. I, I like having that mirror. Um, but you know what? It's, it's, it's a small price to pay if they, if they fix other things and if they, uh, they fix, you know, continue to fix things and maybe it's something that we can get back at some point. Definitely not a deal breaker for me. Again, I feel like these are, uh, well, I'm not going to include this game just yet, but Fernbus is definitely the best driving simulator on console. You know, if you guys know anything about me, you know that I'm passionate about both of these games. Uh, I'm just so glad that they're getting the love and attention that they deserve. And let me just end this video by giving a little bit of applause to Aerosoft and Nico and all of the new people that they have over there. You know, um, they, they have a really... They have a really hard job, okay, because Aerosoft does not have the best reputation at the moment for various reasons, and they're the new guys, and they're kind of thrown into this, and they inherited all this, uh, you know, bad reputation and people not happy with the company, and as new employees, they kind of have to turn it around, you know, and I'm not saying that it's it's all on them, but I'm just saying as new employees, you know, they're the new faces and voices of the company. And so, you know, their actions will speak loudly. And I think this is a fantastic start. Um, I think the biggest issue with Aerosoft is no communication and the fact that they just seem to neglect all of their games. So hopefully this will be a turnaround from that. Um, you know, Aerosoft does seem to be communicating better. Uh, maybe they're not using all of the channels that, that they should. 
Um, but I mean, Nico, he did post patch notes. Uh, I haven't checked Facebook or anything like that. Maybe they are posted on Facebook. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, just, uh, you know, just a pat on the back to those guys for stepping up and, you know, at least showing that uh, there's a little bit of passion in Aerosoft now with, with the new crew. So guys, that's where we're going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I hope you join me later this afternoon for my live stream to uh, really put really put the, uh, the old update through its paces. So yeah, guys, I hope to see you then. If not, I will see you next time.